If you know the song, it's the Carolinas. It's the Carolinas. When me and my son first entered the building, we left and went around the building to try to find another way in because we didn't know this was the entrance. I thought that we were in the wrong place. Uh, then we went back in and realized that this is the area before you enter the restaurant. Um, it's like a gift shop or whatever. I've owned a, a retail establishment before and this is a good idea for impulse shopping, you know. Um, it was pretty odd. But, hey. You're welcome. This little guy's menu navigation skills is good. Yeah, Very is. impressive. Oh, wait, no, wait. He's skimming through this menu faster than most kids his age can even read a book. Mama's pancake breakfast and loaded hash browns. Right, I hope you all that. I'm an artist, so I got an eye for art. This nice, rustic-looking uh, fireplace caught my eye, so I had to get up and uh, take a look at it and catch it on camera. It's pretty neat. I'm just giving y'all a glimpse of the menu right now uh, so y'all can just catch a glimpse of some of the items. There seems to be a lot of Southern comfort-type items on the menu here. Yeah, this menu is full of uh, Southern classics here. Uh, some of the stuff you see on a Sunday morning growing up for Sunday dinner, man. Yeah. So, I hope it's good. This will be my first time trying it. I'm trying to decide what I want to order. Sometimes a hostess can make you feel like you only got a split second to order. You feel like you're on Family Feud or something. But unlike Family Feud, they give you a few extra minutes. You your tea yet? It is not sweet, ain't it? <laughs> this tea needs some help, y'all. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here because there's plenty of sugar on the table to sweeten the tea to your preference. There was a couple seated here. The guy ate all of his food and the woman left all of his food untouched. Guys, what would you do if you took a woman out on a date and she left her food untouched that you paid for? Apple without the pie. Yeah. And what you got there? They gave you 100% natural syrup. Cracker barrel syrup. That's their own syrup. Pour that on there real nice like. The reason I told him to pour this syrup on here real nice like is because I know when I went back to do the edit, I already had it in my mind's eye that I was going to do the syrup being poured on in slow motion. It's just something about that pour, that is just <laughs> It's <laughs> just something about that slow motion pour on the syrup, man. That that's just special. I think you scared of that syrup, man. The way he was pouring it on, though, no, I really didn't have to do it in slow motion. Now he trying to speed up after I said so. <laughs> after I called him out. All right, and I have a. Uh, yeah, I, meat... I have meatloaf with steak fries. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time, so I'm it's trying to. Dumplings, fried over. So we got apple without the pie, dumplings without the chicken. They gave us a spoon to eat with this. Yeah, a spoon and I have no fork. How we gonna eat, how we gonna eat pancakes? I, I don't really food? like eating with forks, but sometimes you need them, right? <laughs> you had a pack of forks in the car. That's right, I always carry a pack of farts and spoons in my car because you never know when you'll need them. It's as important as a gas jug or a spare tire. It's good? Yeah, yeah, buzz it, buzz Let me try some of that pancake, man. That's the best I can do with a spoon. Some pancakes taste like mama old pancakes back in the day. That's why I call it your mama. 
That's the name of it, ain't it? Grandma's pancakes, ain't it? Yeah. Thumbs up on the pancakes. I want them. Great. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. Do y'all have forks? They're not in here? No, it was just spoons and knives. Okay. See y'all, this is how you act towards your okay. servers. You don't have to be all nasty. All you have to do is just ask politely and they'll correct it. You die eating no more until you get your fault. Yeah. <laughs> It won't surprise me if my son becomes a great chef one day because he loves experimenting with food, trying different things. Look at him, he's focused too. Put your tea on the napkin. That way you don't get the table wet. All right, you seem to be enjoying this meal. Yeah. It's good. It busts and busts. It's like home cooking. All right, y'all, finally, I'm going to get in there. Uh, get in the action. That's a good word for it. Yes, yes. All right. The dumplings are actually pretty good. They were a little stuck together, but they're pretty good. The sauce is good. What's the first thing we eat? Try the meatloaf. It looks like good home cooked meatloaf. Tastes like this. Tastes like meatloaf that you know from the house, man. It tastes like meatloaf you buy when you go to the store. That's good meatloaf. It's like down home. This is southern meatloaf. Yo, meatloaf bustle. The, the butter, I think this is butter, right? Mm -hmm. The butter just sitting alone with no friends. You were supposed to put it on your hand, uh, on, on, on your pancake. All right. Open, y'all. No. I, 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 I need something to hold this. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time, and it's just like I remembered it, man. Pretty good. Okra. Get off my spoon. I guess I have a little bit of butter. The fried okra is not really seasoned. This pancake is busting, busting. I see some specks of black pepper on it, but that's about it. And it's not really fried, crispy, hard, dark brown. It's a light fry. Not bad though, it'll do. I mean, you wouldn't expect uh, fried okra to taste spectacular over the top, but could use a little more seasoning. <laughs> Y'all gotta see this. <laughs> What you about to do? Eat your hand? Putting ketchup on your hand? I didn't think fries and meatloaf would be a good combination, but check it out, right? You can take your fry and just dip it in your meatloaf ketchup. I really ketchup didn't want fries, meatloaf. but when I saw steak fries on the menu, I thought they meant cut steak that was dipped in batter and fried. Actual steak fries. Now, we know the eggs were very bland, but he just drowned his eggs with ketchup. Your eggs now look like how my meatloaf look. And you say it's better now? Yeah, is it. Where's my fork? Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I 
all you, can, all you taste is ketchup, man. That will mix it better. <laughs> You didn't stir it from the bottom? Oh. The sugar went to the bottom. <laughs> it's better? <laughs> didn't it? No. Probably gonna need about five more packs. <laughs> He's up to something. Instead of grabbing more sugar, he grabbed the salt shaker. This is about to get interesting. Pepper is hot, right? Yeah. A little bit of salt. It's stirred. <laughs> Have you ever, ever, ever in your long legged life heard of salt and pepper iced tea? It still tastes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, no matter what you put in it. <laughs> oh, wait, now I can taste it. Terrible. I can taste salt and pepper. Uh huh. <laughs> Now you know that wasn't a good choice. You still drinking though. Oh my gosh, y'all. Crack a barrel. I give it a I give it a nine. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's up there. I give it a nine for that pancake. Mm. No, Orangeburg, like Orangeburg, South Carolina, crack a barrel. I think this might be my first time even eating at a Cracker Barrel. Yeah, me too. You got a thumbs up from the chef. The only three items that need a little help is the eggs, the tea, and the okra. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And if y'all ever had a Cracker Barrel before, what's y'all favorite item or whatever? You know, what's y'all take on it? You know, leave some comments below. Eat. And shoot some places out there that you would like me to try here in South Carolina. Your suggestions are welcome. So y'all, our total is a whopping what? What's our total? Uh, our total is 28 dollars and 42 cents. Not bad at all. This Compared is supposed to, to be 30, 40, 50, No, see, you use you used to me taking you to those kind of places spending a lot of money this is very reasonable for some down home cooking this all is right. also supposed to be 229 dollars all right i'm gonna let you pay this so we can go ahead and get out of here what <laughs> so basically you end up where you started at in here back in the uh retail area to pay for the meal you don't you know pay by leaving your credit card with the uh waiter or nothing like that and this is the same area that you also uh go see the hostess to be seated in the dining area at there you have it my first dining experience at the cracker barrel i'm gonna have to revisit revisit a lot of these restaurants that i've been to before because i'm gonna start you know letting the people know i'm actually doing reviews in return that'll help shed light on my channel like it share it thou the love and subscribe unto my channel and smiteth that notification button thank you